Hey everyone, welcome to my channel and if you're new here for the first time, welcome. So as you can see, this video is an update on my myasthenia gravis. It's no longer just ocular, but it's now generalised, which means it's now affecting my arms, my legs, wrists, hands, fingers, feet, swallowing and chewing and even talking and pronouncing words. So please subscribe, um, I'd really appreciate it. And also, if you enjoy this video, give it a like, because that helps to push my videos so more people can see them. And share, because I'd like, you know, to spread information about my Estenia Gravis. And also comment. Hey everyone, so I'm back again. Um, had my blood pressure checked. That was 120 over 80, which is good for me. And um, lunchtime won't be long. And for that, I'm having scotch broth soup, um, some vegetable cottage pie, and then I'm going to have a yogurt. So I will let you see that in a bit. This is the Scotch bonnet soup. I didn't take a picture of what came next. So, hey, it's me again. Still Tuesday. I've just eaten my food. It was okay. Um, not much to do apart from just lie down and rest. Um, yeah. I've got a book that I'm reading, which is a great book, and I will talk more about that book in a review that I'm going to do. Um, if you can hear noise in the background, it's patients and doctors, you know, doing what they do. So, I wish I was at home. But, I'm not, I'm here. And hopefully, by the time I get home, I'll be able to walk, you know, a bit better anyway. So, keeping fingers crossed, yeah. Ooh, what a year. Mm. What a year. But anyway, I'll talk soon. See you soon. Hey, still here. It's still Tuesday. So I thought I'd just tell you what myasthenia gravis is again. So it's a rare autoimmune disease for which there is no cure. Oh, sorry. And then, so the body produces antibodies that block or destroy the muscle receptors at the neuromuscular junction where the nerve impulses communicate with the muscles so that they can contract or move. But in my case, the muscle receptors are blocking the pathway so the nerve impulses can't get to the muscles to send that message. So my muscles become weak. Um, Basically, the doctors are keeping me in because they are reintroducing prednisolone, which is a corticosteroid. So, sometimes when you take prednisolone, um, it can worsen the symptoms of myasthenia gravis and you can get a condition called myasthenia crisis so this is a condition of extreme muscle weakness um, particularly of the diaphragm and the chest muscles that support breathing so breathing then becomes shallow or ineffective so I don't want ineffective breathing so I just thought I'd tell you that little bit um, you can hear 
uh, people in the background because, of course, this is a ward and there's people on it and nurses tending to people. So it's dinner time now. So I'm having red lentil soup, not a patch on mine, uh, and then a fish pie and a banana. So I'm going to have that now. And hopefully, I'll get back to you before the end of the night. Okay, stay tuned. This is the red lentil soup and my banana. And I spared you from looking at the main meal. Hey everyone, so I've now been moved from EAU, which was Emergency Assessment Unit, to neurology ward and I am in a room all by myself so just your basic hospital room and I even have my own bathroom so I don't know how long I'll be in here for but I'll enjoy it peace and quiet a little TV, my own TV, there you go, uh, wash basin, water, yeah, there's my book, and so there's my alarm, so now I'm just going to lie back in bed and watch some TV. Morning everyone. It's Wednesday today. Uh, just woke up. I'm feeling a bit weak this morning so if the camera seems a bit shaky I apologise. Um, I'm not sure when I'm going to be sent home. I was in a room on my own last night, moved to another ward, neurology, um, and then at some point today I'll be taken to the ward. Hey everyone, how you all doing? Still in the hospital. It's Sunday today. I'm hoping to come out tomorrow, but we'll see what the doctors say. I've been feeling a bit fatigued and a bit weak, but um, that's to be expected. Uh, I'm on mestinon or pyridostigmine, and they're giving me steroids every other day. So it's helping. I'm not feeling as wobbly as I was but there are times especially in the morning when I'm still weak, really weak they've given me a walker so I use that um, just resting really, staying in bed uh, can't wait to go home but yeah, not feeling too bad today. Had a bit of nauseousness before, but I think it's easy. Just had some hot water to drink. So I'll keep you informed. Hopefully, there's a lot of noise going on in the background. Um, but yeah, hopefully, if I'm not falling asleep, I'll come back on. So, see you in a bit. Hey, sorry I've not spoken much today. Not much going on. Um, I've spoken to therapy people. And they checked on me walking. It's still a bit wobbly, shaky, unbalanced. So, they've left me with a walking frame, which helps now. Gives me a bit more confidence. It's about 10 p.m. at night. Um, a few bits going on in the background. Um, yeah, so it's about 10 p.m. 
probably will be going to sleep soon. Um, like I said, not much happened today, but um, I'll keep you abreast of what happens tomorrow. Hopefully, it'll be a quiet night. <clears throat> so, speak soon. Hey everyone, um, I'm on a drip at the moment. There you go. You can see the drip in the background. Um, this is an IV IG drip, intravenous immunoglobulin, something like that. And this hopefully will help. Um, help me to get back to some kind of normality. So I started this IVIG treatment on Sunday. We're now Tuesday and I think it's going to continue till Thursday. And so you have this treatment over five days. So we'll see how that works. I think it kicks in in a few weeks after it's been done. Um, I'm just tired of all the weakness now. It's getting on my nerves. But I'm still in the best place that I can be. Um, yeah, not much going on. It's coming up to dinner time soon. Uh, this drip takes about an hour. And then after the drip's done, they do a saline flush to make sure it all goes into my body. And then, you know, they just check blood pressure. And, um, yeah, just check blood pressure. Make sure that I'm not having any adverse side effects, you know, headaches, blood clots. Um, aches and pains, things like that. So I'll check in with you a bit later. So bye for now. Hey, welcome back. So I know it's been a few days since I've filmed. Um, today is Friday, the 11th of September. Um, so I've had all my IV, IG treatment. And just to tell you a little bit more about IVIG, uh, it's so liquid immunoglobulin is taken from blood plasma of donors who are screened to make sure they are healthy. And then the plasma is purified before it's used in the IVIG treatment. So your body's immune system normally makes enough antibodies to fight the germs that cause infections, but if you have immune deficiencies, then your body cannot make enough of them. So the immunoglobulin is part of your blood's plasma and it has antibodies in it to fight the germs or the disease. So when people donate their blood, then the plasma part can be separated out and it can be given and it's given through a vein in your arm or through an IV drip and can help to keep the immune system healthy. So I'm hoping it kicks in soon. Uh, when I wake up in the mornings, I do um, have weakness. Yeah, I can't hold my hand out straight. You know, I can't stretch my fingers out straight this is the best it goes so it's hard to hold things but um in saying that you know if anything were to still go wrong i'm still in the hospital i would love to go home but hopefully like i said it's friday today hopefully i can go home on Monday or Tuesday, um, I can't wait to get home. So this is a part one. Um, 
I'll do a part two just to end it off. You know, uh, I'll keep my fingers crossed. I uh, can just about cross them. Uh, it's breakfast time. I think it's going up to eight o'clock. Uh, I think I'm going to have a bit of bran flakes. I'm sorry if the phone is wobbly a bit, but like I say, it's hard to keep steady. Um, it's a brand new day. So who knows what it has in store for me or for any of us. So if I don't get back on today, I'll see you in part two. Bye for now. Hey, just to say, um, if you've enjoyed this video, then please subscribe, please like, please, please, please share. Need to get um, this video out there to show as many people as possible. Make people aware about myasthenia gravis. Uh, so please watch till the end. Yeah, you'd be really helping out my channel. Give it a big thumbs up. And have a great day. And hey, let's smash this life. Bye for now.